Adonis Stevenson knocks out Chad Dawson in the first round with one punch to become the new WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. This is what I was worried about, folks. People told me that I was crazy for even being worried about this fight. Dawson's got it easy, won't be a problem. Not so quickly. Dawson was coming off a devastating KO defeat. He got knocked out in sparring by Edison Miranda. Where was his head going to be at going into this fight? Apparently, he didn't even know who Stevenson was until after they'd signed to fight. All right? There were so many red flags around this fight. I could not make a prediction. I said, you know what? I ain't even making a prediction for this fight because this, this is too dangerous. Yeah, Stevenson has got a serious chance. If Chad Dawson ain't 100% and there's a very good chance he ain't going to be 100%, all right? Coming off a knockout loss, getting knocked out in sparring by Edison Miranda. We, you know, we know already that's, that uh, Dawson is a mentally erratic guy. He's very erratic mentally. This, this, this fight here was a recipe for disaster for Chad Dawson. It was a terrible fight for him to take coming off a knockout loss. And now we see why. He went in there. Anyone who's followed um, uh, Adonis Stevenson will know what I knew. That this guy has got redonkulous power. <laughs> yeah, redonkulous. It's not normal power. I remember when I was talking about Stevenson and I, and I was saying I would rather see, because Stevenson was mandatory for Carl Froch's title, and I was saying to people, I would rather see Froch fight Stevenson than Froch fight Kessler. And people were saying, what? That's a garbage fight. Froch would walk through Stevenson. I said it back then, and I'm saying it again now. I do not think Froch can walk for Adonis Stevenson. I think Adonis Stevenson has got the power to knock Carl Froch into next week. Yeah, I don't necessarily mean he'll win the fight, but he's definitely got the power to knock Carl Frutch out. i got no question about that. All right? Although he did fight a vulnerable guy tonight in, in Chad Dawson, who is coming off a knockout loss. So you don't know where the, 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 the mind of a fighter is going to be. You know what I mean? After coming off a loss like that. But this guy, Stevenson, Manny Stewart said it. When Manny Stewart, you know, RIP Manny Stewart, when he was still alive, he said this guy is one of the best punches he's ever seen in his life. All right? You have to take note of these kind of things, people. People were just dismissing Stevenson. Everyone was dismissing this. I don't get it. Me, I always in, enjoyed watching him. And I was always like, you know what? This guy, he ain't the sharpest boxer, but he can seriously punch. He does have decent boxing skills. Nothing amazing. But this guy is, is he's a killer in the ring. He comes to take your head off. And that's what he did to Chad Dawson from the opening bell. Stevenson did what he always does. He came to take his opponent's head off. That's what he does Every single time he fights. Anyone that's watched this guy will know this is what Stevenson does. <laughs> yeah. And if you ain't prepared for it, if you ain't on your A game, you're in serious fucking trouble. All right? And that's what Chad Dawson found himself in. He found himself under fire right away from the opening bell. S Stevenson was, you know, throwing those big left hands over the top. And uh, Dawson looked half asleep, you know, as usual. <laughs> as he's been throughout half of his career, he looked half asleep. And he got clocked with one of them big left hands and he nearly went fully asleep. All right. There was no premature stoppage or nothing like that. Dawson was literally fucked up when he went down. And when he got up, he was out on his feet. There was no way he could have continued. And if they had to let it continue, he could have got seriously hurt. All right. Serious brain injury if they'd let him continue. You understand? So it was a great stoppage. Had to stop it there and then. And hey, it is what it is. And as far as Stevenson goes, hey, there's, there's some fights there now for him. A light heavyweight. You know what I mean? There's some fights there. Nathan Cleverly, did, hey, he can do all kinds of different things. Um, I would have loved to see him fight Frotch. You know what I mean? I said it back then. People told me I was stupid. I was crazy. Nah, I'd like to see him fight Frotch, man. You know what I mean? I wonder if Frotch wants it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Frotch wants it. Um, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have to wait and see. There's also a fight there between maybe him uh, and the winner of Butte against Pascal. You know what I mean? So we just have to wait and see. But yeah, if you ain't seen the fight, make sure you go check it. It only lasted one round. Tremendous left hand from Adonis Stevenson. Dawson went down. He was done. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got up, but he was all over the damn place. You know what I mean? So we got a new light heavyweight champion. Adonis Stevenson. Maybe we'll see Stevenson against Ward. I know this is people are acting like, you know, the Stevenson's come out of nowhere. Who is he really? Well, he just beat Chad Dawson in one round. All right. I know it might be a damaged Dawson and all that, psychologically damaged, physically damaged, maybe, but he did just knock him out in one round. 
You know what I mean? Tony Bellew against Stevenson. <laughs> Get me? This Adonis Stevenson can seriously punch. As I said, he ain't the most refined fighter. He is also 35 years of age. I've been following him now for quite a long time. But the guy is a, is, is a monster when it comes to punching power. And he, he's got a killer's mentality. You understand? He's got that Tommy Hearns, Mike Tyson, Prince Nassim Hamed, true puncher's mentality. He believes in his power. He's never afraid. He's never timid. And he always goes for it. You know what I mean? He's very exciting to watch. So uh, yeah, man, leave your comments in the comment section below. This was a, a spectacular knockout by Adonis Stevenson. He pulled off the up upset. And like I say, those of us who have been following Stevenson and looked at, um, you know, Chad Dawson's mindset going into this fight, we knew that something like this was possible. I don't, a lot of people are going to be shocked. Me personally, I'm not really shocked. I, I was worried that something like this could happen. You understand? And it did. So you know what I mean? Congrats to Stevenson. Commiserations to Dawson. But leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you got a lot to say. This is Hatman. I'm out.